Announcing the first ever I just can't wait to see who will be number one! Sign us up! The fate of the plaza is at stake, but KO's turbo form TKO is taking control. Can our heroes defeat their strongest foes yet? Come on, Rad, let's do this! Rad! Heenid! I'm coming! Everyone's killing on me! Find out on the OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes one hour special event in two weeks! Welcome back to the round table. I'm Ostrich Vox and OKKO OK series finale event has its first and probably only promo, which as always, we're gonna break it down, run through it and try to figure out just what exactly is going to happen. Of course, spoiler warning, click off now if you don't wanna know anything. With all that said, let's dive in. So it seems as if the final half hour episode of the series, let's fight to the end, although not the final episode, will feature OKKO's OK take on a tournament arc. A common storytelling beat, mainly in shonen anime, where a bunch of characters gather to commence fight after fight. Almost everyone loves a good tournament arc. It's a chance for characters with different abilities, different skills to face off against each other because normally the circumstances wouldn't allow for it. And it's really just a fun way to introduce new crazy characters and concepts. I always had a hunch OKKO OK would go for this. And as a finale, Nally, no less, they knew exactly what to save. Because unlike aforementioned shonen anime, OKKO OK already has a very large cast of characters. So instead of seeing main characters face off with characters we've never seen before, assumably everyone fighting will be characters we've all seen at some point in time. So this feels like a pure situation of, well, these two characters would normally never fight, but what would happen if they did? And if I could just make a wild prediction, I think Brandon and RMS are gonna end up being pitted against one another. Classic tournament drama, best friends fighting to the Death. Now, this tournament arc was teased at the end of the last episode, Dendi's video channel. As the buffering video said, Rumor, Plaza Tournament Incoming? A really good way to tip off fans on what's next. Now, it appears this tournament will be brought by Pow Card Industries, as the iconic fist fills up the screens above the fighters. And considering Succulentus is in the ring, we will be seeing virtually every character throughout the series return, except for maybe the crossover ones, like I don't know if they can get Garnet, Forearms, Benten, Captain and Planet and Sonic all back, that would be a nice treat, but I'm pretty sure they're focused entirely and solely on OKKO, and not the properties it's been involved with. Now, Rad and Enid signed up for this tournament, but they seem pretty eager. Considering KO has recently lost himself to TKO, who's partnered up with his father, Shadowy Venomous, aka Perfect Venomous, aka Shadowy Figure is taking over Venomous, I think there's a story reason for this tournament and Rad and Enid's involvement. That if they compete and win, then maybe they have a chance of saving KO, stopping Shadowy Venomous once and for all. Of course, TKO is using this tournament to wreak havoc. He of all characters loved to fight, and considering the destruction he Raw and TKO, subtitled episode not the character, anyone he's up against needs to use their A game, evident with KO unraveling Miss Mummy entirely. We also see what appears to be TKO's equivalent of a pow fist, one that's purple and sentient. TKO has been in control for so long that perhaps his power is beginning to spiral. Rat and Enid seem to be handling themselves fine during this tournament, and we see the return of Enid's DJ outfit, one of my favorites from the series, so I'm glad they're bringing it back, but we also see her decked with green glowing kunais. And in that same shot, if you look at Rad, it appears he's holding someone with his finger beam. Considering they appear to be battling together, it may be 2 on 2, perhaps going up against TKO and Shadowy Venomous. And if that's the case, the tournament in itself may just be 2 on 2, so Brandon and Romantic Skeleton actually may just be fighting together and get eliminated together early on into the episode. We see KO is also witnessing what's happening from the outside, just as he did in the episodes TKO and You're in Control. And potentially the episode itself, we have a brief shot of Rad and Enid descending upwards out of shadows, their eyes glowing purple, which is complemented with the background's color scheme of a character's turbo form. But it seems before they can fully tap into that, TKO will be able to whoop their butts. We see KO battle what I assume are his negative emotions, trying to find a way out, as we also get a sneak peek to Rad and Enid's turbo form. Rad once again beefing up with not two, but five bands. One on his neck as a collar, two on his shoulders, and of course, two on his hand. His afro morphing into dreadlocks. Whereas Enid gets fingerless gloves, a wardrobe change, and the standard two turbo bands. And alas, we close with KO fighting through his negative emotions, trying to regain control, 
feeling as if everyone is counting on him. Now, the synopsis for this episode indicates that something bigger is at play. I truly think whoever wins this tournament will decide the fate of the plaza and potentially the world. If Shadowy, Venomous, and TKO win, the world gets destroyed. Now, I want to do a separate video on the final, final episode of the series. Thank you for watching the show. So be on the lookout for that soon. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? What are your predictions for just a piece of OKKO OK series finale? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Autric Thoughts. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please order a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Autric Vox, signing out.